Okay, well, we have a phone call. We got a phone call. And we cool. have Blake, who I believe is a soldier at Fort Bragg. Ooh. Yes. Is this Blake on the line? Yes, it is, Dr. Tyson. Blake, uh, you call me doctor. I got to call you by your title. What are you? Uh, one Officer One. Uh, one Officer One. One Officer One? Mister. Mister. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. No, no, he said yes, sir. Okay, so, so Blake, what do you have for me? And call me Neil, please. Please. Yes, sir, Neil. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's military guy. You can't get the sir out of them. That's great. All right, so what do you have? No, you can't. Um, my question has to do with the, the, the gravity of the Earth. If the Earth had been born with twice the, the, twice the size, it would have twice the gravity, and anything that evolved on the planet would have evolved in that double-time gravity that we currently have. Is there any upper limit to a Earth-like planet where carbon-based life, life forms just wouldn't have been able to evolve because of the massive gravity? That's a brilliant question. Yeah, it really is. It is. It is. So a couple of things. If Earth were sort of twice our size, we would have eight times the mass, okay, because the volume goes up as the cube of the thing. So that's two cubed would give you eight. Right. So, so the surface gravity then is a combination of how, far, how much farther away we are from the center of the Earth and how much extra mass is there. So you can do the math, if, but you can just assert, make an Earth that has twice the gravity. Here's what will happen. Everybody's legs would be more squat. <laughs> the, first of all, okay? So we, everyone would look a little bit more like a hippopotamus, all right? Or, or dwarf. Or you probably, well, dwarfs, right. You would, things wouldn't grow as tall. Giraffes would have thicker legs. Horses would be shorter. All of that would happen, okay? The giraffe has very high blood pressure to get blood to its brain to go up to all the, the, ver the, the vertebrae of its neck. And so if you have twice the gravity, you would need twice the pressure to get it up there, and that could blow your blood vessels. So you, you'd have a shorter giraffes. So you wouldn't have any of these tall creatures. But you didn't ask about mammals. You asked about carbon-based life. Mm. Most of the biomass on Earth could care less, couldn't care less what the force of gravity was on Earth. Mm -hmm. Period. All the life in the ocean is neutrally buoyant. That's right. It doesn't care. Bacteria swimming in the pond, in the pond, what do you, the, the, the pond uh, uh, drop. You know, you look at it when you're in high in school, you look at the, oh, the petri dish. The, the, uh, uh, you get a drop of water from the pond and you see paramecium in it yes, thriving. Yes. They don't care about gravity. That's right. Their lives, they thrive under like the surface tension of the water. So most life actually does not care about gravity. We do. Because we're out here on the we're land. We're out here on the land. We're trying to jump. Olympics would be kind of different. <laughs> <laughs> There'd be no hurdling. No. <laughs> There'd be the low hurdles, low not hurdles. the high hurdles. Uh, so, yeah. So, sports would be very different. But a factor of two gravity, not a problem for life. Right. Not, and you'd have sort of more sort of smaller life thriving than bigger life. And that, that's about it. Wow. Yeah. There you go, Blake. So, thanks, Blake, for that one. Oh, one, just one follow-up on that last bit about from the, the soldier uh, at Fort Bragg. Mm -hmm. uh, he had asked about the doubling Earth's gravity, uh, and I said er, er, ocean life wouldn't care. Right. But I, I should have commented, water then weighs twice as much. So if you're accustomed to swimming at a particular depth, you then swim at half that depth. Gotcha. That way the weight of the water above you would be the same as it was in the previous Earth. Right. Right, that's all. Okay. I just wanted to like, straighten that out. Yeah, okay. okay. And they could easily find that place, right? They're fishes and they move in three dimensions. Exactly. There you go. Right. <laughs>